Pay drivers have often been a contentious issue in Formula 1. In an idealistic world, all Formula 1 drivers would be their own merit. However, it is an extremely expensive sport, and teams on small budgets often depend on drivers with more money than talent taking seats that many feel should go to more deserving drivers. In recent years, most pay drivers have themselves come from wealthy backgrounds and have been able to pay for their seats with their own personal finances. But a couple of decades ago, it was more common to see pay drivers who themselves were not excessively wealthy but had acquired very generous financial support from sponsors and patrons. One of these drivers had limited success in his junior career, but over a six year period was contracted to five different Formula 1 teams. It's a name many have forgotten in the motorsport world, but is making waves in the political world. This is the story of Sakon Yamamoto. Sakon Yamamoto was born in Toyohashi on July 9, 1982. His mother was a fan of Formula One, and he lived on the opposite side of the Iza Bay from Suzuka, so in 1988 went to the Japanese Grand Prix there and was hooked himself. He tried to convince his parents to allow him to do karting, and they eventually relented, and in 1994 at the relatively late age of 12, he enrolled at the Suzuka Circuit Racing School. He ascended up the karting ranks and won the All Japan Kart Championship FA class in 1999. In 2001, he made his single-seater debut in All Japan Formula 3 with Toms, with generous financial support from Sanho Human Service, and also enrolled at Nanzan University where he studied social politics. He got three third-place finishes and two second places and finished fourth in the standings, just ahead of fellow future F1 driver Yuji Ide, and with just over half the points of teammate Paolo Montin who finished runner-up. In between the final two rounds, he travelled to the UK to compete in the final two rounds of the British Formula 3 Championship with Team Avanti, and finished 15th and last at the second race at Brands Hatch but retired from the first race as well as both races at Silverstone, being classified 25th in the standings, with future teammate Takuma Sato winning the title. He moved to Germany in 2002 to compete in the German Formula 3 Championship with GM Motorsport. After the seventh round at the Nürburgring, where he failed to qualify for the first race and retired from the second, he moved over to Team Collez Racing, but failed to score a single point across the entire season and finished 20th in the standings, with a best result of 8th at the sixth round at Hockenheim. The following year, he advanced to the Formula 3 Euro Series with Superfund TME, but once again scored no points and finished 27th in the standings with a best result of 9th at Adria and Le Mans whereas teammate Bernhard Oyinger scored 15 points and finished 15th in the standings. In 2004, he returned to Japan for a second attempt at All Japan Formula 3, once again with Toms. This campaign was far better as he got pole, the win and the fastest lap at the final round at Motegi and got three other podium finishes and fastest laps and finished 7th in the standings out of 14 full-time drivers, but was still behind his three teammates Richard Antonucci, Kazuki Nakajima and Taku Bamba in 4th, 5th and 6th respectively. In 2005, he made his sports car debut with Toms in the GT500 class of Super GT. He and teammate Tatsuya Katayoka won at Sugo and scored points in five of the remaining seven races and finished seventh in the standings. He ran this in tandem with a campaign in Formula Nippon with Kondo Racing Team where he finished second at Motegi, but otherwise only scored points at Suzuka and finished tenth in the standings. Towards the end of that year, he also made his Grand Prix weekend debut, driving the third car for Jordan on Friday at the Japanese Grand Prix at the invitation of former German F3 team boss Colin Collez. He began a second campaign in Super GT in 2006, now driving for Nismo, as well as a second campaign in Formula Nippon. He and teammate Michael Crum finished 12th at Suzuka, 3rd at Okayama and 9th at Fuji in Super GT, and he finished 6th at Fuji, 4th at Suzuka and 14th at Motegi in Formula Nippon before he abruptly ended both campaigns and signed as Super Aguri's Test and Friday driver, filling the vacancy left by Yuji Ide's expulsion. He made his debut with the team at the British Grand Prix and drove the third car on Friday the next three rounds. At the German Grand Prix, he swapped seats with Frank Montagny to become second driver alongside Takuma Sato, fulfilling team principal Aguri Suzuki's desire to field an all-Japanese team, and became the youngest Japanese driver in Formula 1 history at that time. The team also replaced the interim SA05 with the brand new SA06 at the race. Due to various teething problems, he got very little running in on Friday, and then in qualifying did a slow sighter lap and then crashed on his hot lap and so lined up 21st out of 21 runners, more than 3 seconds behind Sato. On race day, he jumped into the spare car and started from the pit lane but didn't get on track until the third lap and then had to come straight back into the pits after the drive shaft died. 
At the Hungarian Grand Prix, he qualified 22nd and last, just over a second behind Sato in 20th, and then made a massive lunge at Turn 1 and gained several places only for the engine to die exiting the corner. At Istanbul, he managed to outqualify Sato by a quarter of a second who was struggling with chassis problems, but was still 7 tenths slower than Thiago Montero in 20th. After a chaotic first lap, he was up to 13th. He gradually dropped behind the drivers who pitted for repairs on the first lap, and then span off at Turn 1 on lap 24 and beached the car in the gravel and stalled the engine. He qualified last at Monza, being a colossal 1.7 seconds slower than Sato in 21st after doing only one lap and then getting a puncture on his in-lap. He inadvertently had a major effect on the championship as Fernando Alonso got a puncture of his own from the debris and was then accused of blocking Felipe Massa and was demoted from 5th to 10th. He had another strong start and passed both Midlands on the first lap after Sato started from the pit lane, but was last again by lap 5 and then the hydraulics died on lap 19. At the Chinese Grand Prix, Yamamoto got caught out by a red flag on his first hot lap in qualifying and was then forced to do his only other one in heavy rain which meant he was more than 5 seconds slower than Sato. Despite this, he started 19th following penalties for Sato, Christian Albers and Felipe Massa. He managed to run ahead of Sato and both Midlands for the first 17 laps but a poor gamble with dry tyres dropped him down to last, but he eventually saw the chequered flag 4 laps down in 16th. He was mistakenly admonished by Nick Heidfeld after the race for ignoring blue flags and causing an accident on the last lap, which was in fact done by Sato who was disqualified. At his home race, he failed to set a time in qualifying after spinning at the hairpin and stalling the car and started 22nd and last. He ran and lost the entire race and eventually finished 17th after making an extra pit stop due to a refuelling problem and then spinning at the spoon curve on the last lap. He qualified only a tenth of a second behind Sato at Interlagos, and during the race both drivers found that their Bridgestone tyres were perfectly suited to the hot track temperatures. Sato stormed away to finish in 10th, and Yamamoto battled closely with both Midlands but still eventually finished in 16th and last, but he had set the 7th fastest lap of the race, faster than Sato's, and the 2nd fastest middle sector. He finished the year 26th in the standings out of 27 drivers. In 2007, his seat was taken by Anthony Davidson, and he was demoted back to test driver, he also began a campaign in the GP2 series of BC and Competizione. He scored no points and finished no better than 9th, and midway through the season he returned to the Formula 1 grid by signing with Spiker, being run by Colin Collis who he had raced under in German Formula 3 and had given him his first outing in a Formula 1 car almost two years earlier. He was blocked by Giancarlo Fisichella in qualifying at Hungary and lied at 22nd, just over a second behind new teammate Adrian Sutil, and then crashed out at turn 11 on lap 5. He struggled at gearbox problems in qualifying at the Turkish Grand Prix and was 1.6 seconds behind Sotil in 22nd and last and went on to finish in 20th after stalling the car during his first pit stop. At the Italian Grand Prix, Yamamoto broke his front wing off after locking the brakes on his first run in qualifying and then got blocked at the Parabolica on his second and was 22nd and last once again, 4 tenths behind Sotil and then finished 20th once again. He qualified 22nd and last yet again at Spa after getting called to the Weybridge and getting only one lap in on the slower tyre, 1.5 seconds behind Sotil in 20th. He spent a large portion of the race running ahead of Anthony Davidson and Alexander Wurtz but still finished in last in 17th. For his home race, rain came in qualifying and he qualified 22nd, making an all-Japanese back row of Sato, just over a second behind Sotil in 20th. The race was run in torrential rain with a large part of it under the safety car, and after a couple of spins, Yamamoto finished a career-best 12th, ahead of Jarno Trulli. At the Chinese Grand Prix, he qualified 22nd as usual, 6 tenths behind Sotil in 21st, and after repeated strategy errors, the changing conditions finished in 17th. He qualified only a quarter of a second behind Sotil at Interlagos, and on lap 2, Giancarlo Fisichella ran across the grass at the Senna and rejoined right in front of him, leaving him nowhere to go. He finished 24th in the standings out of 26 drivers. He left Spiker in 2008 and instead became Renault's third test driver. Romain Grosjean and Lucas Negrassi were used for official test sessions and Yamamoto was used only for public demonstrations. Midway through the year, he was brought in to replace Luca Filippi at ART Grand Prix in the GP2 series, partnering Romain Grosjean. He finished fourth in the sprint race at Hungary, but otherwise was outside of the points and ended the season with three consecutive retirements and finished 23rd in the standings with three points. At the end of the year, he then raced for them in the GP2 Asia series. He started strongly with a third place in the feature race in Shanghai, scored points in Dubai and got double points at the Bahrain finale and finished ninth in the standings with 13 points. 
He then joined Team Rosberg in the ADAC Formula Masters for 2009 but scored only a single point and finished 32nd in the standings. In 2010, he made a surprise return to Formula 1, becoming HRT's second test driver after Christian Kleon, and made his on-track debut in FP1 at the Turkish Grand Prix, yet another team run by Colin Collez. Three races later at Silverstone, he was bumped up to a race seat in place of Bruno Senna, with his sponsor Sanho Human Service paying HRT half a million dollars per race. He qualified in 24th and last, four tenths behind teammate Karun Chantok, and ran with him the entire race and finished just behind in 20th. At the German Grand Prix, he was put in Jan Tok's seat instead and Senna took his back. He qualified 23rd out of 23 runners, 1.3 seconds behind Senna in 21st after having gear shifting problems. He put the pit limiter on at the start, but gained positions from other drivers pitting for repairs, but dropped down to last on lap 18 and then the engine died on lap 20. He qualified 24th again at Hungary and was only 600th behind Senna, but was lapped by him in the race and finished 19th. In a chaotic wet qualifying session at the Belgian Grand Prix, he managed to qualify 21st, 3 tenths behind Senna, and started in 19th. He jumped all the way up to 13th on the first lap, but by lap 13 had dropped back down to last and finished in 20th. He qualified 24th again at the Italian Grand Prix, but was only 2 tenths behind Senna and started 23rd. He got ahead of Senna at the start before he retired and went on to finish 19th, but ran over one of the mechanics during his pit stop. His seat was taken by Christian Kleon at Singapore, ostensibly because he had food poisoning, but he was seen walking around the paddock leading to suggestions it was because of sponsorship reasons. He was back in the car for his home race. He qualified 24th again but was less than a tenth behind Senna. Senna, Timo Glock and Jano Trulli all pitted during the safety car at the start and he was up to 15th and managed to avoid dropping to last till lap 31 and then lost pace due to losses in fuel pressure and finished in 16th. At the Korean Grand Prix, he outqualified Senna for the first time by a very convincing 8 tenths and was only 1 tenth off Lucas de Grassi in 22nd. After a red flag and two safety cars in the torrential rain, he found himself in 15th but lost 4 places in 1 lap and was then hit by de Grassi who crashed out, and he chased Senna down at the end but finished behind him in 15th. Cleon took his seat again for the final two rounds and he finished 26th in the standings out of 27 drivers. In 2011, he became Virgin's reserve driver for the first three races of the season, but never drove the car, and ended his Formula 1 career with 21 starts, 14 finishes and a best result of 12th. After this, he took a sabbatical from motor racing and returned to Japan where he began working in social welfare, and in 2012 became general manager of the medical and social welfare corporation the Sawarabi Group. He made a brief return to motor racing in 2015 when he replaced Antonio Felix da Costa at Amrin Aguri at the final round of the Formula E season in London, but broke down in the first race and crashed into Jano Trulli in the second. After this, he became CEO of the Sawarabi Group, and as part of his community outreach and social welfare programs began promoting interest in motorsport, particularly the application of motorsport technology into medical technology. He started regularly appearing as a paddock guest at Super GT and Super Formula races, and also founded his own karting circuit. In 2019, he unsuccessfully ran for public office in the Japanese House of Representatives. The following year, he ran in the Fuji 24 hours in the Super Taikyu series, driving an Audi RS3 for Rebellion Team Mars, finishing third in class, and made a return to single-seater racing, as he was invited to race for BMAX Racing at the Fuji round of the inaugural Super Formula Light season, and finished 12th, 8th and 7th in the three races and was classified 16th in the standings. In 2021, he ran for public office again and was successfully elected to the House of Representatives as a Liberal Democrat in the Tokai bloc. Sakon Yamamoto's impact on Formula 1 was a small one, which is why many have forgotten his name. Success was limited, as he won only two races across his entire junior and professional career, but was able to advance quickly due to his large financial backing, and is one of only a handful of drivers to have been contracted to six different Formula 1 teams. In his 21 Grand Prix, he outqualified his teammate only twice, and only twice started off the back row. During the races, he was frequently able to make big gains on the first lap by keeping himself out of trouble, but would inevitably drop down and only once did not finish last. He was involved in several accidents of his own, but never caused any accidents with other drivers, and generally stayed out of the way. He maybe could have achieved better qualifying and race results if he had better luck and fewer mechanical issues on his side, but even so it was clear that he was not at the level expected of most Formula 1 drivers, and he is certainly not the best of what Japan has offered to Formula 1. 
Despite his small impact in the motorsport world, he is not someone who has vanished into obscurity and is beginning to make a name for himself in the Japanese political scene and has become one of only a handful of Formula 1 drivers to have been elected to public office. He has however given back to the world of motorsport and is using his platform to promote interest in motor racing and to find real world applications for many of the technologies and innovations developed in the quest for more speed. That's all for this video, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at brook underscore f1, and I'll see you all next time.